Hey guys, welcome back to the Zebulox channel. Today I am gonna be reviewing the Heavy Arms Custom and Sports version right here. Very sorry about not uploading last week. Tight schedule, it sucks because you know, university likes to give you like the annoying, stupid, useless assessment that you're probably never gonna use in your entire life and then those useless information that you're never gonna use in the future or your further jobs. But back to the topic today this heavy arms review got further delayed because of the spray paint issue i was told by the hobby store that the time factory factories got destroyed by typhoon which is why all of this spray paint um, is short on supply now if i remember correctly this heavy arms came out at 2016 uh, back in the days bandai don't have any competition which was why they don't even bother to make it good make it well and make it amazing so right now we got the supernova version now, looking back to the Bandai version, I felt like that Bandai version just gave me mixed feelings because one, Heavy Arms, Heavy Arms, honestly, one of my favorite design, but Bandai, somehow compared to Supernova, Bandai just seemed a lot more worse. If we compare the promotional pictures and actually the actual reviews of the Supernova Heavy Arms, you can see that the details, Supernova done it better, color separation, Supernova done it better, and also, if you really want to complain about the Supernova version is A, the mask sucks because it's a very weird sticker and it doesn't look like the original mask. And two, some people got the argument about the height issue where, you know, Wing and the Mecha design supposed to be shorter, not like the UC scale where it's taller. Some people will complain about that, trust me. And three, some people just, you know, being Bandai honest fanboys where they just hate everything outside of Bandai so they are not willing to you know buy bought the heavy arms cheaper which is the supernova version but I read and watched the reviews and honestly the supernova version I really recommend you to buy it because the Bandai version after I finished the whole thing I really felt like that you shouldn't throw 260 dollar cash on the table just to pick this thing up because the supernova version is cheaper even included the shipping is still cheaper than the Bandai version so Overall finish, Supernova is going to be better. Bandai, you may want to think about improving your overall quality. Before the articulation, let's take a look at the leftover parts. The leftover parts, I would say, is at a middle level. It's not too much, but there's still quite a lot. You'll get what I mean when you saw it. So first, the A-Runner, we got the part of the chest color separation got left out because the colors uh, is completely different this time. And then for the XA runner, I believe, we got the hands option that got left out. Well, you can still cut it out and use it, but you're not really gonna use it, trust me. And then we got the chest part right here. We got the new part in the kit, so which was why this part got left out as well. And then for the E runner, we got the chest gathering gun that got left out because this time TV version there's two and then for the endless wars version there's four and for the f runner right here f runner honestly there's a lot of level of parts and i just really need to talk about it so for the f runner if for those of you that watched the unboxing video you know there's two one of them is the gray color and one of them is the dark green blue color according to the official records and the gray color right here mainly used for the joints and also i believe it's the missiles but if you're going to repaint it like myself it doesn't really matter which color you use and then for the dark green blue color right here you can see that a lot of parts that got left out mainly is the shoulders part that got used and then you can see that the missiles the kind of like the circle part of the joints that got left out as well so you know f runner i would say that got the most waste for the stickers is used on the shoulders the front skirt back skirt and then also the eyes and sensor and also the clown mask let's take a look at the articulation we'll always start from the head so this time the head color i prefer this color better than the tv version for the articulation don't lift up lift down very nice and then you can move around as well but i don't really recommend you to move 360 because the parts on the head like these kind of antennas is actually quite thin and it's very easy to break so um, I would just say that try not to move it 360, try to move it like 45 degrees, that would be fine. We can also put on a clown mask, but to be honest, this clown mask is really unreliable and the stability is absolutely terrible, so it's kind of disappointing. Let's take a look at the chest part. The chest part is bulky, 
is my taste. I absolutely love it. For the articulation, sadly, it's a big ball joint, so 45 degrees will be the maximum. You can also open up the chest and you will see four cutting guns hidden inside the chest. Strongly suggest you to do some repainting because if you don't repaint anything, it's going to be looking great and it's quite boring as well. We always try to look our gamba looks the best, right? And also, you can pull down this part and this is how you open the cockpit. After you open the cockpit, you will see Tolowa sitting inside the cockpit, but I do want to say that I felt very bad for him because once he started the chest gallon guns, it's going to be very loud inside the cockpit and his ears just straight rip. Let's take a look at the shoulders. So first, 360 movement, very nice. We can also move to the front, very good. Shoulders got individual movement. We can also lift up the arm, 90 degrees, very good. Whole arm can rotate again. And then for the bending though, almost touching the shoulders, it's quite good. For the hands, again, it's just like the wing series, is a thumb only movable hand. And for the hands option, we got open hand, fist hand, and also the weapon holding hand that I'm currently putting it on. We got missiles inside the shoulder. To open it up, it's very simple. Lift up the shoulder and then rotate the back. And this is how you open the missile pods. Let's take a look at the front skirt right here. So first moving up and down, you can slightly adjust the position and then, you know, lift up 90 degrees. When you move down this part right here, you will see four missiles hidden inside the front skirt. For the side skirt, you can lift up 90 degrees, but all the wing series, they got a similar problem, which is the side skirt appear to be very loose. So the feeling, I just don't like it. But when you pull down the part right here, you will see four more missiles hidden inside the side skirt. For the back skirt, we got no missiles, but we can lift it up 90 degrees. Let's take a look at the legs articulation. So first, kicking to the front 90 degrees, kicking to the back almost 90 degrees, kicking to the side near to 90 degrees, I would say. And then for the bending though, U-shape. Wow, absolutely love it. And then for the feet down here, again, it's a ball joint. So, you know, there's limited movements. And then at the tip of the feet right here, I believe you can bend a little bit. Yes. The missile pods are located at the side of the legs. To open it up is quite simple. Just open it up like this and you will see the missiles. Strongly suggest to repaint the missiles, by the way. For the backpack part, the backpack is a standard backpack. Very boring. Not much things for me to talk about. Thrusters is not movable as well. The only thing that you can move is the storage racks right here. Exactly 90 degrees. For the leftover accessories first, we got two Toloa Baton figure. The left one is the regular release and the right one is the premium Bandai version aka the Marimea Army uniform version. We also got a beam saber from the B runner. We also got the double Gatling gun right here but in my opinion the Gatling gun from the premium Bandai is not comparable to the supernova version. The supernova version done it way better. The silver parts they even gave you like those small parts on the Gatling gun right here. You see these kind of lines right here? They even gave you the color for it. And the Bandai version compared to the Supernova version, it just seemed very lame. The double Gatling gun can store on the backpack. So first you need to do some switching. So first pull this part out and then rotate and then put it back in. And then move down the storage racks and then put your Gatling gun on it. And this is how you store it. To use the Gatling gun, so first you need to let the hand to hold the handle. It's gonna, you're going to need to take some time to adjust it and then just pluck into the forearm and there you go. This is how you hold the Gatling gun. Thank you guys for watching this video. This will be the end of the review. So for the heavy arms custom right here, really want to say that it's a bit disappointing and it's not as, you know, impressive as I thought. So for the Supernova version, details, color separation, even the accessories, the weapons, they were better than Bandai. More colors, double accessories. You got four double gathering guns for the Supernova version. You can put it onto the backpack or the arms. So overall, Supernova just completely destroyed Bandai, which was why that I don't really recommend you to throw $200 to a premium Bandai heavy arms right here. I'd rather you to actually use that $200 to buy the Supernova version. Well, actually the Supernova version included the shipping for my currency is $150 if my memory is correct. So it's still cheaper than the premium Bandai version. So Supernova will be your choice if you are a heavy arms fan, unless you can't deal with the height issue and also the OG also, you want to support the OG Bandai, then I would strongly suggest you pick up the Supernova. Supernova will be your best deal. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk and make sure you subscribe. 
and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Donation links will be in the description and also at the channel page. I appreciate everyone's support and I'll see you in the next review. Goodbye!